We have gone from your favorite room to my favorite room, from the kitchen Gay to the rocks. garage, yes. to come out here to uh, put together a wonderful sign. Don't need to be a woodworking expert to make your own Irish pub sign. Uh, we're going to make one here today, give you your home that real fun feel for St. Patrick's Day. And this is fun to do, and you don't need a lot of materials. You do don't. What, what do you, you need? do need, you need some sort of chain. You don't have to go with this one. You can just go something rustic and old. You can even use some rope if you want, a couple of hooks. Finials, you'll need four of those, uh, and you can find whatever size you want. Um, the lathing strips, we found these, all the stuff that I'm showing you, by the way, found at Michael's, which is a oh, wonderful it's craft a great store. store. I love it. And, uh, and then you're going to need a piece of wood. Shelving wood is fine. This is made of pine. Pine, pine say pine, with pine. me, pine. That's, pine. Say, that's well, pine with pine. me. Well, listen to this. This is pine. Okay. How did you make the sign? Well, this is the design <laughs> to make pine your sign. Okay. Okay, okay, it's really simple. <laughs> Roll the tape. I'll show you earlier this morning. We found a template. There it is. It's not green, it's blue. Uh, measure down. Find the center roughly where you want to put it. And then we don't have a four leaf clover. We wanted a three leaf clover. I'm going to trace it and now I'm going to get my router out. Now, look, you don't have to use a router. I know people are saying, oh, I don't know how to use a router. But those. What could you I use? Want, you, could use, you could do the same thing that we're going to do with the lettering, which is decoupage. You could put some sort of decoupage on. I wanted to give it a little bit of depth to this. So, plus I just like to use tools and yes, I like do. to get dirty. You got so dirty today, you had to shower after. Look at look at oh, it going but everywhere. I, but I like that. I yeah. think that's fun to do. And it's a really soft wood, the pine is to use. And then you you paint the board and you give the inset, recessed area darker wow. color. Look at there, you. I know. You look <laughs> like you were snowed on. I know, isn't that great? Fantastic. <laughs> wow. And here we are. There it is. And then uh, we finish it by um, painting and, and doing the darker recess. So now, lathing strips. Uh, we're going to attach those and put on the embellishments, if you will. So you can, we're going to glue gun. You could use any sort of nailing, whatever, for this. I'm going to show you. Painted. We're going to, we, we painted, painted those to give it a little accent color. Now, hang on before you put that on because we're going to butt joint this. So this one's going to go across the top. Why is that important to do that? Just because of the de decoration, the Celtic sort of look that these have. Okay. I wanted to give it that. So this is just going to glue down the side. Here we go, like that. Okay. Perfect. Now the lettering, you can see we've already started with the lettering. Would you mind starting the decoupage there, Christina, on right, the bottom? On the bottom, okay. Yes, down here. We're going to lay the, the lettering, and I'll tell you how we came up with the lettering for this. <laughs> um, down. Okay. All is right. all you, you can find this stuff online if you wish. And, and just download it and print it, or you can use your, your Microsoft Word or Photoshop. It's a pub. <laughs> it's backwards. So it goes this Okay. Way. Goes there back. we go. Oh, all right. So, but we're going to use decoupage, but we're going to put need to put some underneath so this sticks to it. So, if you can lay some decoupage across here, just go oh, on the lay, wood. Lay it there on the and wood. And you can print. Right. Yeah, I have a sample over here of what it looked like of the paper once we got the fonts all laid out. You just enlarge it to whatever size you want, and then use Where exact knife and scissors. Where do you get that Where do you find that? You can, like I said, just use a Microsoft Word to print it out. You can use. One day we'll have to show you how you can use the okay. software to really make it all kind of come together, but you will lay down the bottom. And then am I going to decoupage it on top yep. when we're done? I love it. This is my I keep favorite sniffing. part. I keep sniffing. I so yeah, apologize have, for that. That my allergies. allergies. really bad. We're going to have to give you. So when you do this and you'll lay it on top, make sure you get it plenty good underneath. You want to make sure there's a good layer underneath. And then when it dries, it'll dry clear. And we have, I don't know if you can shoot around, Christine, but you'll see the top part up here is already got a layer on it. And it has started to dry. It has started to dry already. And you could add another layer to it. And go Beautiful. all the way across. But, okay, uh, love it. And then, and that's pretty much what we're looking for. Now, you want to make this look old and rustic. Yeah, how do you make it look so old? So, if and you rustic? can see the one that's behind us on the door, we've added a little flavor to it. Look how cute that is. Um, and it's just using a little bit of this brown. Is this, uh, this, this brown is, right here? Sorry, I gotta rub that's my okay. that's Yeah. Okay. Um, it's real life. That's what yeah, happens. Yeah, you, you put a little bit of that on and then simply sand it off to erase some of it on the corners. You well, see we've down, let me show you down here. below here. Yes, yeah. I'll come back here and show you. By the way, you would also add your finials on at the bottom, but you add it on and then you subtract it. So once it's on, you can use sandpaper to roughen it up. Or if you want to make it look old. It looks old, very antique. -y. Yeah, it looks. It does. Or you can find your great great grandfather like and have him hold it. And then it <laughs> looks really old right, then. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, see. okay. All right. Uh, and there you go. It's as simple as that. These would be glued on if you want. You can also screw them, but they would be attached on here to the edge. Okay. And then you add your screws, which we could do uh, once this dries and all. Right. But we're set, and then you okay. have your sign. And we're going to hang we, this up. We're and what's the name of it again? This is, sorry, <laughs> McCaddy Owampus's Pub.